I'm pleased to kick off Lightning Talks. First speaker is Rahul Chowdhury, who will be speaking about Tesloop. Okay, so uh, kind of off the back of that energy that uh, Jeff's talk just generated, I'm having a little bit of a problem speaking slowly. I also, I had four cups of coffee. So um, uh, one of the things that he, uh, he focused on that I really liked was this slide of 10x, uh, easier and faster. And that's that, like, like a key of Meteor that I've always focused on. So I figured I'd give you a, a short talk that showed you how, uh, an example of how we've you know, used Meteor to do things 10x faster and easier, roughly. So this talk is about uh, a company called Tesloop. And um, what's Tesloop? So I'm going to let uh, a 16-year-old explain it to Elon Musk without ads. Hi, my name is Hayden Sonad. I'm a shareholder, and I'm finishing up 10th grade tomorrow down in LA. And one of the really things that I've noticed about the majority of Teslas is that they're really not being utilized too often. They mostly just sit around with, it's like they just mostly sit around. So. <laughs> What, what I've been able to do, due to some pretty fortunate investments, I've been able to order an 85D. And what I really hope to do with this car is use it to its full potential. And I'm going to be doing this by, I'm going to be creating a constant loop of this car with constant people filled in it. And it's going to be going between Culver City and Las Vegas. And I call this a test loop. And, <laughs> okay. and by doing this, I assume I can save around 40 tons of carbon dioxide emissions into the air every month by these cars. So my question is mainly about, thank you. So my question is about autopilot in version seven. I wanna know that if I do lend out the car for people to drive it from LA to Vegas, if autopilot will be good enough to really ensure their safe travels over the road, so he just kind of keeps going from there, but the core, the core elevator pitch happened. So everybody in this room, uh, including me, because I was there, uh, was kind of thinking, like, who, who's this kid? What is, what is he doing pitching his startup to Elon Musk? And at the same time, well, he's 16, so maybe he should be pitching his startup to Elon Musk. Well, so as it turns out, and I didn't know this, this was my customer. We had already spoken, and uh, we were going to do some work together. So what did we do? And on the Whoops. highways, but... Let's, uh, figure out a way to get to the next slide. That's great. We built uh, this app, the Tesloop Booking UI, uh, which is a mobile app, which you can see uh, is kind of getting used here. It's very simple. It just allows you to pick a date between a pre-established route, um, scroll down, follow the terms and conditions, and pay for the trip, which we'll see shortly. So that's the whole thing. Um, we did this uh, in a system that we call Jumpstart. So uh, that's a, a, a business model that we use with some of our customers where we build software in a week. And uh, part of the reason we can do this is because Meteor exists. Jumpstarts are a thing where we spend exactly one week, five days, with a customer, usually with one or two devs. Uh, and we're very explicit about fixing cost and time and varying a scope. Um, and in this specific instance, it was myself, uh, Q42, and Sam Hatoum, whom many of you may know from uh, Velocity Framework, who went down there and built this with them. Uh, and uh, if you have been paying attention to Meteor this week, you may have noticed the blog post which we wrote. So if you want to know more about it, recommend going and reading this blog post or visiting this website. Thanks. Uh, do we have any questions for Rahul? What's your weekly rate? What's my regular rate? Weekly, weekly, weekly. A weekly rate? Yeah. You think I'm going to tell you that on a live broadcast on YouTube? <laughs> 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 this is where Jeff said, let's talk offline. <laughs> uh, question over here. Was that Stripe, in, uh, Stripe checkout in a Cordova app? No, so that was actually uh, me running it in Chrome with the, the setting that previews it as a mobile app. Um, and right now, it is live as a mobile app, but uh, as a mobile website that you can view through your browser. But it's very tr trivial to add Cordova support. You just you know, go to the command line and say, add Android and iOS. The reason we didn't ship that is because there was some uh, decision making with the customer about prioritizing doing that versus building something else. And we ended up choosing that thing. But it was Stripe? 
It was, yeah, that was actual yeah. Stripe. That was live. Yeah. We had a question in the back. How did Elon Musk respond? <laughs> well, you, you heard him say one thing, and it was kind of a deadpan, OK. <laughs> so he, he kind of started off with that, because that was sort of like, that was the feeling the room had, which is, you know, this happens a lot at Tesla shareholder meetings. People try to, to, to get work at Tesla. Um, but luckily, the conversation was changed from my startup pitch into uh, a question about autopilot. So Elon went with that and gave like a 10-minute answer about autopilot, which was sort of interesting, I guess. <laughs> question over here. Sorry? So um, I'm sorry, I can't tell what you're saying. It's a car sharing app. So is it a car sharing app? Yeah, it's, uh, it's sort of like... Uh, an alternative to taking a bus or taking a flight. Uh, you drive, you get in the back of a Tesla Model S that drives between, for instance, Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Well, so the way it works is just like with a flight, somebody is operating the plane. In this case, somebody is operating the Model S. You book a seat in the Model S, they take you somewhere and they drop you off. There's, there's not car sharing in the sense that somebody has their car and can have someone else. I think the question is why, why a Tesla in particular not? Why a Tesla? Oh, OK. So why a Tesla? Because, um, and that was kind of like why they. I mean, it depends a little bit your uh, scope, right? Um, yeah, it does. But this startup specifically uh, is focusing on this idea of having Teslas drive around because it's sustainable. It runs on top of Tesla's supercharger infrastructure, which makes charging free. Uh, it's a great car, it's very luxury. Um, and they can do it uh, very regularly. They can just have them driving full time. So that was kind of the idea behind the startup. Great. Uh, any other questions before we move to the next speaker? All right. Thanks so much, Raul. Thanks.